guys, it's Permage back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I am an artist, writer, gamer, YouTuber, expecting mom, super nerd, just an all around fun time. So today's video is a haul video of sorts. Uh, so I had to run out to the store because I was getting ready to start filming my gaming vlogs for October, which if you missed the announcement, I will be making gaming vlogs on Thursdays starting in October. I'm super excited about this new video type and it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm super excited to get started on that. If you missed my headset unboxing and official announcement, I will link that in the description box below. Please feel free to check that out after this video, of course. Um, but anyway, so I had started to uh, get ready to start filming those and I discovered that A, my mouse pad went missing. Seems like an odd thing to lose. I mean, it's been a while since I played a game on my laptop, but where did it go? <laughs> so I couldn't find that. And then I also discovered that my mouse, which again, I haven't been gaming consistently for a little while. It's something that I've been really wanting to get back into. Uh, but just didn't have the time and now I find myself with the time and the desire to put effort into the the, uh, the vlogs and well my mouse is kind of grody and old and the sensor is kind of not picking up and when you're trying to game especially considering I will be starting off with Dragon Age Origins which is a fantasy RPG you kind of need your mouse to work as pretty much any gamer will tell you. So I ran out just to get a mouse and a mouse pad and I did not intend on doing a video on this new equipment haul, um, but I was so excited about the mouse that I got and the mouse pad that I just had to show you guys because you're never going to see it in the vlogs uh, because obviously I'll be in a little webcam and then the, the main screen will be the game. So I just, I had to show you what I got so that I can start gaming like a real person. First and foremost, I went to Staples for these things. And I got a bag and I didn't have to pay for it. Now, I'm sure there are some of you going, what? I live in Connecticut and in Connecticut, there is a 10 cent bag tax on plastic bags. Um, this has been, you know, kind of polarizing in reaction. Um, I think it's really smart. Plastic is terrible for the oceans. I did my entire senior capstone exhibition for my uh, studio art major on the plastic waste that exists in the ocean. So I know from tons of research and hours and hours and hours of writing about it, the plastic is just no good for the environment. So I personally am like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I know some places are banning them completely, which I think is probably even better. Uh, I personally reuse them. I have cats, so I use them for the cat litter and like the small trash cans around the house. So it is a little frustrating in that aspect, but you know, if it keeps the environment a little bit cleaner, I'm here for it. But so I went to Staples and the guy was like, do you want a bag for free? And I was like, how are you guys managing that? Because it's a tax. So if you're not charging the 10 cent bag tax when people get bags, you, the the uh, the company actually gets a fine. Uh, and I know that from GameStop and the fine is hefty. It's not like a baby fine. Uh, so I was like, what are you talking about? So they gave me a paper bag, which is super nice for recyclables. I reuse everything. It's a real fact. Uh, but so I was pretty excited that I actually got a bag. I didn't really need a bag because of the two items that I got are small, but I was pretty happy to get a free bag, especially a nice sturdy paper one. I'm going to show you the mouse pad first because that was the main reason that I went out. And also I'm so excited about the mouse that I have to wait and show that to you after because it's so cute. So, uh... When I, once I show you the mouse, you're going to go, these do not match at all what is wrong with you. Uh, but so the mouse pad that I got is this really pretty floral one. I believe these are peonies, but don't quote me because I'm not really a flower person. I have a bit of a black thumb. The only thing I've managed to not kill is snake plants, uh, which for those of you who don't know, that's a snake plant. I have several of them throughout the house because it's literally the only thing I can keep alive. I wish I was exaggerating, but it's not. I have in the past killed cacti because I'm really good at either over or underwatering things and really bad at keeping up with them on purpose. So for the most part, I don't keep flowers because I have four cats. 
I'm not good with plants. It's just, it's a whole reason. So I like floral patterned things and I think these are peonies, but I don't know. And with my luck, it probably says somewhere on here what they are, although it doesn't look like it. So that makes me feel a little better. Uh, if you know what kind of flowers these are and they are not peonies, please comment below and let me know. I was about to cut it out of here and then I realized there's a hole from where it was hanging on the peg so I don't have to do that. So this is just a Staples brand uh, mouse pad. It's nothing super fancy. Oh, they put a little stick on there so it would stay. Hmm, that's cool. So it's a pretty standard mouse pad. You know, just a flexible, thin, non-skid backed, really pretty mouse pad. So yeah, so I was excited when I saw this. I didn't go with anything in mind, but I definitely wanted something that was like cute because it's gonna sit on my desk and I want it to look nice because nice things make me happy. Uh, and they had actually kind of a lot. Uh, I, I know they're running really low on a lot of supplies due to COVID and shipping issues and all of that, uh, but they actually had quite a few mouse pads, but like a lot of them were like dogs, which I don't have anything against dogs, but as I've mentioned twice, I have four cats. <laughs> uh, so I don't have anything against dogs, but I was just kind of like, I don't want a dog mouse pad. And then there were like places and like if there had been a Big Ben one, would have jumped right on that. London was my favorite city ever that I've been to, uh, but they didn't. So I thought this was the prettiest one. So this is what I went with. I'm so excited about the mouse. Like I can't even like express to you how excited I am about this mouse. All right, are you guys ready for this? I don't think you are. I don't think you're ready for this mouse. I really don't. Look, it looks like watercolor or an acrylic paint pour on a mouse. And I'm an artist, in case you're watching for the first time and you're just here for the gaming stuff. I'm also an artist. I post art vlogs every Tuesday. Uh, but so this was like so exciting to me when I saw it because um, it's a Logitech. So they have like the little desi um, designs. I'm reading the package and talking to you at the same time. It's not a good look. Uh, so the, at Staples, they have like a little display that has the different design ones they have. Now, the old mouse that I have is actually also a Logitech Designs, and I got a little monkey. I got this back in college, so I mean, I've gotten quite a bit of use out of it, but as you can see, it's kind of grimy. Actually, I don't know if you can tell. This used to be a very vibrant red. It's really dirty. Um, there's some gunk on the top that I don't know where it came from, and as I said, the sensor was just not picking up today. And I wasn't sure if that was just because I was using it without a mouse pad because I couldn't find mine. Um, but I didn't want to risk it being the mouse itself, which is why I went ahead and picked up another mouse. But honestly, I'm just going to use this one because look at that. This will be my backup because it's still cute. I mean, look at the little monkey. So cute. But I was having issues. So, so these are strong, reliable, 10 meter wireless connection mice. I don't know why you would need to use your mouse 10 meters away from your computer, but I guess that's cool. Uh, it has a little, I'll pull out the one that I have. It has a little one of these that hooks into your computer. So it takes up like no space, but these are also really easy to lose. Had to hunt for this when I first relocated my mouse. Uh, but so that's what it uses to communicate with your computer smooth and accurate coarser control, which was one of the things that I liked about the last one when it was working. Um, but like I said, it just wasn't having it this morning. So I was a little concerned that the mouse is just kind of going. And like I said, at this point, it's, I graduated college in 2016, it's 2020. So it's like eight years old, I think. So I mean, I don't know how long mice are supposed to last, but I feel like I got my money's worth out of it. Just make sure I'm not cutting anything I shouldn't be. I love how it shows like, hey, we've got these little pull things for you. Does this actually work? Me, doesn't read, gets the scissors, then reads. All right, so I just wanna say that that was like the easiest package to open ever. Have you ever like bought a pair of scissors and on the packaging it shows you opening the pack of scissors with a pair of scissors? I wouldn't be buying scissors if I had scissors. I mean, I guess I would be if I needed like multiple pairs for some reason, but like, I feel like the average person who's buying a pair of scissors, it's because they need a pair of scissors. So it's ridiculous. 
So I, I really appreciate that they gave you these little, and that was loud. Like, it's not like you could just do that in the store and steal the mouse. I think that that, that was on purpose. But so this was really nice. Where'd they hide the thingy-mabobber? Twelve month battery life. Oh, apparently this only has a twelve month battery life and I've been using mine for like four years. Eight years. I can't do math. Oh, that's so smart! They literally hid the little USB thingy mabobber inside the mouse. So when you open the mouse, you get your thing out and then you can use it with your computer. These companies, man, just get more and more clever. I swear. One of my cats is circling me like a shark. It's kind of adorable and also kind of off-putting. Don't know if I should be worried or not. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I remember when mine felt like this. So over the time, this has gotten like really rough and like, I don't know how to describe it, but this is so smooth. I think they've updated their design too. I think this is a different material, but it's like so soft. That's gonna feel so nice. Oh, and okay, so my wheel is like kind of textured. Oh, it's not gonna focus, it always does this to me. It's kind of textured, but it almost looks like somebody like took a needle and like poked it a bazillion times. This is actually ribbed, if you can see that. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna break it before I even start using it. So how these work is uh, once it's plugged in, you slide it into the on position. This is already in the on position, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop it into the off position for now because I'm not using it right now. And then you pull this, open this. Okay, good, so they do give you a battery. I know sometimes they don't because they're worried about it like rupturing, basically. You don't want acid leaking in here, obviously. Oh, that's so cool, as it's like a little slot and stuff. You'd almost miss it if you didn't read the packaging. Speaking from experience, because I probably would have totally missed that if I hadn't read the packaging. Uh, but yeah, so it gives you like your little Logi plug-in port thingy mabobber. I'm just gonna keep calling it a thingy mabobber because I don't know what else you would actually call that other than like a USB. Nope, don't know what to call it. It's a thingy mabobber. So this old one that I have is M325C, and this new one is M317. Don't know what that means, but this is lighter than this one too. Like this one's so heavy in comparison. I feel like that's pretty typical for technology though. Like the newer ones are always less heavy. Yeah, that's still the original battery. Apparently mine came in here too, but I don't remember that. I guess that's a smart way to store it so you don't lose it. So since I now know that that's a thing, um, I'm just gonna stick mine, my old one in here so that I never have to worry about losing it. I'm gonna pop it right in my drawer because like I said, I'm gonna keep this as a backup because you just never know. I wonder if I should take that battery out. I wonder if I just needed to change my battery and I just bought a new mouse for no reason. That seems highly light, but I mean, look at it. It's so pretty. Why wouldn't I spend the money to get a new one? There are a lot of reasons, but. So that's what I mean by like, it doesn't match at all. <laughs> Abstract water pour paint and flowers. But if that's not an accurate representation of my personality, I don't know what it is. So that's it for today's haul. Uh, thank you for dealing with me babbling and being a goof for however long this video was. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to the gaming videos that are coming up in October. I know I'm super excited about them. I'm excited to be able to actually start now. And uh, yeah, so I hope I'll see you around the channel for those. If you missed the last video that I posted, that will be right over here-ish, somewhere on this side. And if you would like to see uh, other haul videos, those will be linked right over here. And right here in the middle, you can subscribe. See you next time. Bye.